Dublin, Texas. In 2014, there was a population of 3,623, 1,848 were males, and 1,775 were females. In 2016, the average income was 43,237, and the average house cost $84,089. Dublin Secondary School is grades 7th through 12th. Chester Schneider is the principal. There are currently 488 students enrolled. The programs that are offered are bilingual, ESL, career and technical, gifted and talented, and special education. The majority of the students have a Hispanic background, and out of 488 students, 346 are economically disadvantaged. I had the privilege of observing Miss Grantham's 8th period 10th grade biology. In her class, there was 20 students. The average age was 15. Within the classroom, students have ADHD, emotional disability, they are gifted, and have learning disabilities. Miss Grantham's classroom is great for kinesthetic and visual learners. She has a lot of posters around the room that are both positive and educational. There is a large computer screen that hangs on the wall in front of the classroom. This is used for almost everything they do in the class. The teacher projects the opener and closer, shows videos, does PowerPoints, and she can use it to project something she is doing on her desk onto the screen. I have noticed that in every class, she tries to teach in different ways. When the students were learning about different organisms, she first had them take notes that she prepared on a PowerPoint. Then they watched the movie Moana, and they had to write down every living organism they could find. By the end of the video, whoever had the most finds won. So it was exciting and educational for the students. The students also have a biology notebook that they keep everything in. They put the title of each lesson into their table of contents so they know where to go when they are studying. Every day, they use it, whether it be writing notes or stapling the worksheets they did that day into it. The notebooks are stored in the classroom so they will never misplace them or forget to bring them to class. When Ms. Grantham needs to get the students' attention, move to a new topic, or realizes they have low energy, she makes them stand up and stretch. My 2D was not motivated in any way to be in Ms. Grantham's 8th period biology class. He did not like her as a teacher because he felt like she would treat them like young children, he did not like her different ways of teaching, and he felt like he would always get in trouble. He would get in trouble in class because he would act out, not do his work, and sleep. After having a discussion with him during one of my sessions, I finally found a way where I could get him motivated in her class to do his work and not disrupt others. We talked and decided our goal for him would be to get the assignments done that needed to be done and not get in trouble or be disruptive. We talked about what we needed to do to accomplish these goals and came up with a plan for him. In order for him to be able to get all of his assignments done in class, we first had to get him organized. We worked on getting his biology journal put back in order where he would be able to be up to date with the current lesson. My 2D started doing the in-class assignments and I noticed he was staying out of trouble because he was focusing on finishing what was in front of him rather than disrupting the class or distracting himself. I did have to remind him a few times about his goals for the class, but after a few class periods, I believe he was finally realizing completing his work and not getting in trouble was something he wanted in this class. This motivated him to be a better student, and I am very proud of how far he has come from the first time we met to the last class. I feel very accomplished as a future educator because I was able to find something that motivated a student and help him be better. His motivation may have been getting the class over with, but I believe this will help in many other classes to come because not every student will like the teacher or the subject, but they will still need to do their classwork and do good academically and behaviorally.